Hey, people, Duncan here again. I'm going to talk about how the NFL is rigged and there's fake storylines. But first, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment in the box below, and hit that bell for notifications. So, for a while now, I've suspected that the NFL manufactures storylines in order to fill seats and to sell tickets. So, let me go over a few predictions I have to prove my point. So, I believe 2018, 2019, here are some storylines you can almost guarantee to hear. First and foremost, Eli Manning will get traded from the Giants to Coughlin and the Jags. He will replace Bortles and the Jags will become an instant Super Bowl um, contender right out of the bat. Next, Kirk Cousins is going to go play for Cleveland. And here's why I know that. Because Cleveland has a good roster. Young has a good head coach, um, a quarterback coach, and they have weapons. What they're lagging is a quarterback. Cleveland has the, has the potential to sign Cousins and to utilize their draft picks to continue building around him. Cousins can become immortal in Cleveland. If Cousins can put Cleveland into the postseason, Cleveland would love Cousins much like they love LeBron. I believe that is a match made in heaven for Kirk Cousins as well as the Browns. Next... I believe the 49ers are going to be the biggest spenders in free agency. I think they're going to attempt to buy a Super Bowl. They'll re-sign Jimmy Garoppolo. I believe they're going to sign Malcolm Butler and Tremaine Johnson to literally create one of the best cornerback duels in all of football. Um, I believe they hit get Javaris Landry at the wide receiver spot. And... They'll sign a few other pieces. This is a roster that's young. Kyle Shanahan proved that he can, at the last six weeks of the season, the 49ers proved they can score, move the ball. They found their franchise quarterback. They got a lot of good talent already. They just need to keep building from it. And if they spend, like I think they will, San Francisco will walk through the NFC West and they will easily be one of the best teams in the NFL. And I can see that happening, much like what Kyle Shanahan did for the Falcons. Um, now, here's the shocker. I believe Tom Brady gets hurt around week three or week four of next season, and he's done for the year. I believe the Patriots then miss the postseason because they do not have a backup quarterback, and there's chaos amongst that divi amongst that team. I think for the first time in a long time, the Patriots miss the postseason. They may even have a losing record, which will open the door for a team like Buffalo to sneak in. I can see this happening. Um, one of the reasons that I see this happening is because there's such a big story behind how... The Patriots traded Tom Brady's backup. And now Tom Brady's backup is on a team that's winning, that's leading the division, that could potentially win a division, go to the postseason. The whole talk will be about how the Patriots screwed up by allowing Jimmy Garoppolo to be traded for a second-round pick. Now, with that said, let me give you the ultimate prediction. Let me give you the 2018-19 playoff slash Super Bowl prediction. Let's start in the AFC. I think that your top seeds are going to be 
Steelers, and Jags. Steelers being number one, Jags being number two. I think the Bills will be number three. The Raiders will be number four with John Gruden. I believe the Browns will be number five with Cousins at quarterback. And I believe the Titans will be number six. So here's how I see it going down. The Bills versus Titans. I see the Titans pulling off an upset. Marcus Mariota taking his team to the second round for the second straight year. I think they'll then have to face the Steelers, which should pretty easily beat them. I believe the number two team, Jags, will have to face, will have to go against the Browns, who honestly will be happy just to be in the second round of the playoffs, and the Jags will just be proven to be a little too much for them. Now I see the Steelers and the Jags going at it for a chance at the Super Bowl, and I think the Jags have... Pittsburgh's number. I just think they know how to beat the Steelers. And I think the Jags will end up in the Super Bowl. And with that being said, let's go to the NFC. My number one seed is, like I was saying, San Francisco. I think they spend a bunch of money in free agency. I think they um, have a pretty easy division, actually. I think they have an easy path to win in the NFC West. Um, I don't see a whole lot of teams outside of maybe Minnesota and Philadelphia giving them a good run for their money. Um, I think they have the potential to be a high-ranking offense and a solid defense. So with that being said, I think the number two seed will be Minnesota. Okay, that's a team that's, you know, going to have some, some revenge on mind. Let's just say that. And I think the number three seed will be the Eagles. I think the number four seed will be Carolina. Number five will be Green Bay. And the number six seed, I think, is going to be the Saints. So here's how I see it going down. Number three Eagles versus the number six Saints. I can see the Eagles beating the Saints and making it to the second round. The, cha the champs are still in it. But then they're going to face Minnesota in a rematch of all rematches. And Minnesota is going to have a chip on their shoulder. I believe Minnesota actually pulls this one out. I see Minnesota moving on to the NFC Championship game. Now, I see Carolina beating Green Bay to move to the second round to play the 49ers. I can see the Niners and the Panthers having an epic battle, but at the end, the 49ers are just too much talent. Um, I can see the Niners and the Vikings going at it for the NFC Championship, in which case San Francisco pulls it out, because again, San Francisco is going to be loaded with talent this year. Um, and I can see San Francisco versus the Jags in the Super Bowl. And once again, I believe that San Francisco will have the roster to really put together a Super Bowl run this year. And I think they'll beat the Jags in the Super Bowl. And the storyline will be how a team that created and started the protest, how a team that pretty much ravished NFL stocks, uh, sponsorships, uh, ticket sales, how a team that was responsible for the protest is now the champ and that's going to be the storyline mark my words san francisco will win next year and the whole purpose will be because they want to repay san francisco for the money that they lost during the protest because it's all manufactured um take it to the bank that's my predictions. If you have something to say, please comment in the box below. Hit that bell for notifications. Like the videos. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I believe the NFL is rigged. And I believe I just predicted next season. Before this 
just as this one has ended. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace. Duncan out.